guys, welcome to my RDG Not Vlogs. We are reporting from my terrace here in Argentina. Um, yeah, I I have been here for a total of months. All right, guys, where was I? My SD card, surprisingly, not surprisingly, wanted to be full at the moment that I finally got my introduction down. But you know what? We're not gonna let that stop us. We are getting into. But yeah, currently 17 degrees beautiful outside um and i am happy to get into the beginning probably the week that i've been here and share with you three lessons that i've learned since being in argentina um so sit down buckle up grab a snack this video is not going to be that long but i want you to be comfortable so join me Did I kill my intro? Alright guys, so let's get into how I pack my suitcase. I have some compact packing bags, which I organize my different items of clothing, such as pants, skirts, shorts, shirts, whatever it is, or have their own separate bags. I also put some other items, little loose items, inside of that black bag. I have two pairs of platform shoes for when it gets warm. It's going to be springtime. I'm excited for the springtime. Um, but the first couple of weeks I was here, it was cold. I also have some house shoes, additional water filters, some other hygiene products up there. Um, the good thing about my flight was I had access to bringing a carry-on, a checked bag, as well as a personal bag. So I had a lot of room, but I also ended up using half of my mom's suitcase. And here are a few messages from people who wishing, wishing me good luck and wanting to drop me off gifts, even though I was at the airport. So it was very fun. Okay, and here's me playing with the dream shades. Um, I don't even know if that's what it's called, but that's what someone called it. Um, and they are just motorized or automatic shades that um, can be controlled by the cockpit or the um, flight attendants um, and as well as the passenger. And you can dim it and lighten it as much as you want. And at night, it kind of looks like that in the evening. This is such a cool feature on the plane. So because I had a 13 hour flight, um, there's, there was a pillow, um, a blanket, as well as this cool little TV in front of us. Um, and I was able to watch my flight um, as I crossed different parts of Latin America um, and flew from Miami to Argentina because I originally flew from Philadelphia to Miami. It's so cool and yeah it was a 13 hour flight loved it but it was nice it was comfortable so during the day i didn't really do much but um i did end up watching a movie until i fell asleep and on the little tv um i watched morbius which was one of the newer marvel movies that came out um I believe before or around the time of Doctor Strange coming out. And I also did watch 355. So I watched two movies, I fell asleep, they gave us lunch, dinner, but it's so cool. There's so many options to watch and choose from. So I ended up staying at the Holton Hotel because I arrived two weeks earlier than my program start date on purpose, I promise. Um, I was going to get acquainted with the place and i ended up having to wait about three hours for my room to get checked in because i arrived at around 11 and check-in time wasn't until like three ish um and then i saw some dancers outside of the hotel which was so cool there was like multiple groups of young people dancing with more dancers there was like an entire because the um entire side of the um hotel was glass they would use that as like a reflective um surface to watch their moves and there was multiple groups 
And here's my first night waking up in Argentina. It was so beautiful to wake up. It felt so surreal. All right, now to some out and about kind of things. Uh, we saw these soldiers that were marching over to the um, San Jose Cathedral um, to guard uh, a very important person, I believe, um, who is, is buried there. Um, and here's the entrance, and it's really a Catholic church, um, but it's a beautiful infrastructure. Um, and that I just love being able to walk around inside of it, see it. And there were actually people still praying um, and sitting down and watching. And there was nuns walking. There were nuns walking around and people praying. I believe that it's still a church that it's used, um, but it's also a very high tourist spot. Alright, so the moment that you've been waiting for, the three things that I've learned my first week here in Argentina. One, don't use a card unless it's an emergency. A tour guide told me this, you pay two to three times the rate when you use your card. Um, and I've noticed it and I've been using pesos just because it's easier um, since I've been here. Two, it's entrepreneurship society. By that, I mean there's a lot of businesses. There's not really big businesses such as um, Target, Walmart, or any kind of super over-generalized store, right? There's small stores that specialize in one or two things, um, minus the pharmacies. And then there's people outside selling things um, such as clothes, masks, hand sanitizer, anything. Um, and there are also people performing all the time um it's a really beautiful sight honestly and then three this is one that has impacted me the most because i'm a vegetarian but this is a very beef dominant society meaning meat is all they really eat um so i have to really dig for cheap vegetarian options Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I definitely had fun making this video um, and seeing sites and I definitely will have fun giving you guys more Argentina content. So follow me along. Also because I thought it was just so cool to see the groups um, hanging out and dancing. Here's another little clip of them.